Hello, everyone. Welcome to Today with Ward. Last week, we had a wonderful program with our dear friend Paul Wilbur. He'll be back again this week along with Scott Volk, Together for Israel. Many of you know Scott, and if you don't know Scott, you're in for a big treat today on Today with Ward. But before Paul and Scott joins me on the set, I want to tell you about an upcoming fundraising promotional event that we are going to be running beginning this week, later this week. It's our Love Asia fundraiser. God's been doing a mighty work at God TV, and He has been allowing us, He has been giving us the wonderful gift and opportunity to take the gospel of Jesus Christ to the ends of the earth. And you are dear friends, you are partners, you make this possible. You are media missionaries. It is because of you that testimonies come to our office day after day of how people's lives have been transformed, how those that have been hurting have been helped, those that have been lost have been found, those who are in captivity have been set free. Never for a moment ever think that you're not doing something great for the kingdom. I want you to know heaven knows you by name. Heaven has recorded in their bank account everything that you have done for Him. And we thank God for you. And this week will be no different. You'll be excited. You'll be encouraged. You'll be amazed. Thomas Robinson and I will be hosting the program. We'll have many testimonies. It will just be a great, great program just to show you what you are doing. It's not us. It's us together. It's not just me. It's not God TV team in Plymouth or in India or in Sri Lanka or in Europe or in America. It's you and us together. We make it possible. And thanks to you, Love Asia is a reality. Watch this promotion and we'll be right back with Paul and Scott. This is the month that we are celebrating the continent of Asia. This is the month that you and me and Thomas and all of us at God TV are making a special emphasis on what we do and why we do it and how we do it. God works through families. It's you and us together. There's no greater joy on earth than taking the word of the Lord. I say that we are a generation that are witnessing what those that have gone before cried out to God to see. Listen carefully. The grace that is on God TV to run their race, to finish their course, is going to come on you. How can we go? We go through the air. We take this gospel to the ends of the earth and we do it together. Praise God. Isn't that exciting, folks, to see what God's doing around the world and in Asia? I really want to encourage you to just tell all your friends, you know, get on your email, go on Facebook. Please encourage everyone to be a part of this Love Asia fundraiser. It's because of your gifts. It's because of your prayers. It's because of your partnership that we can do what we're doing. You know, it's amazing, um, Paul, just before I talk about Love Asia, just Thanks for being with us again this week. Sure. We kind of ran out of time last week, and we were bragging on you that you're a living legend. So at least a living legend should have two shows. <laughs> <laughs> one and a half. <laughs> one and a half. And Scott, everyone, everyone in God TV has come to know you and love you, and you and I are going to do an update um, on the uh, Bless Israel campaign on another show. But today is just about um, really what God is doing in your lives and to minister to our to our viewers. I know you were just in Asia recently, Paul. I was. Uh, the hunger there and the, the the manifest presence of God is is special. You know, people that might sound like a cliche, mm -hmm. but after the first night in in one of the southern islands of the Philippines, I had to call home even though it was 12 hours difference, to tell them I've experienced something so unique here. You know, as, as uh, friends and partners support Love Asia through God TV, what, what an incredible opportunity to reach out to nations that, that you'll never visit, that you'll never know, you'll never know any of the names of these people, but you'll know them in heaven because through your giving, yeah, the, awesome. the gospel has been carried into their home and into their hearts through God TV. We're so excited about this new vision for God TV and the, and the new energy 
that is, is being moved into this channel and the potential here is staggering. So Scott and I are, are truly blessed to be a part of God TV. You know, not even planning this, this, this session, not even knowing exactly what we were going to be doing, just depending on the Holy Spirit to orchestrate and put things together. Here it is on today. Just this coming week, we're going to be launching this fundraising campaign, Amazing. Scott. And there's no accident. There's absolutely no accident that two Jews are sitting here right now in this studio. Yeah. And I believe this is a divine setup for what God is about to do through this campaign. Yeah. I believe God's on the move. God's on the move. And what a better way than to have two Jews bless this campaign. Before, the, before this program is over, I just want you guys to pronounce a blessing on our viewers as they get behind it. We have some of the most precious partners in the world, Scott. Mm. They give sacrificially. They give um, cheerfully. They write us. Listen, I, I received a letter the other day from, this, from a, a dear lady. There's some days, I want you to know, friends, there's some days I wake up and I feel overwhelmed. I feel the burden, the weight of the of the finances. We don't ever want to manipulate. We don't want to go on these ridiculous fundraising telethons that promise you if you give, you're going to get. We just want to, to kind of cast vision so that you would catch the vision and, and you would become a media, a media missionary and, and you would see yourself as part of God TV, taking the gospel to the ends of the earth like we do every day. And some days I wake up and I say, Lord, it's, it's too heavy. And those are the days, Paul and Scott, that I get letters like this. I'm not going to read it, but it's a handwritten note. I just want you to see it. It's, not, it's, not, it's a handwritten note. There's a photocopy of it from, a, from an elderly lady in England, a senior citizen. And she just went on to say how much God TV means to her mm -hmm. and what our missions are doing and, and the work we're doing. And she says, I don't have a lot, but here's 30 pounds. Here's 30 pounds to your ministry. You know, that same day, we received a check for $10,000 from a donor. First time ever. And I was so excited. I said, thank you, Jesus. <laughs> Just when I needed to know that you're with us, somebody sent us a check for 10000 And then shortly after, I received that. And when I received that letter, I began to cry. Mm -hmm. Because we have to be good stewards. Yeah. We have to be faithful. This lady gave from, from the little that she had. And it so inspired me and, and encouraged me. Yeah, I think when, when people grab hold of the real joy it is to give and to bless others, mm. it's only then that they are actually going to even receive the blessing of God. We've made trite of the, you know, give and it will be given to you as some kind of manipulative way for us to get their money. But really, generosity, God is so completely happy and fulfilled because he in his nature is a giver god so loved the world that he gave his best yeah. it's, it's, you know people sometimes say god's not in a bad mood i don't know really how much of that i i totally understand but I, but i do know but i do understand this god is always fulfilled and he's always so totally and completely full because he's a god who gives so generously you know paul showed me a, just a little video of when he was ministering in Asia just a couple weeks ago. Yeah. And I was blown away because you, you took the, I think you took, was it your phone that you took it on? Yeah. You just took the phone and just panned the crowd. Ward, a stadium full of people. I'm talking 10 or 15, how many thousands of people were there, bro? At least 150,000. <laughs> <laughs> but they all crammed into a they, place yeah, for 10,000. 10, 10,000 people, 10,000 people to hear yeah. the message and the worship of the gospel. So as God TV is going out to the nations of the world, and as you guys are planning on this Asia focus, it's really my prayer that people, what can God do mm -hmm. through a network that's giving themselves to blessing the people out there? So I can't, I can't wait to pray together for this yeah. Asia. Asia. Yeah, and, and you know, Proverbs says that a generous man, get this, a generous man or woman sows for their own future. Yeah. Now, that's God speaking. Mm -hmm. He's inviting us to partner with something much bigger than Scott can do on his own, I can do on my own, you can do on your own. 
His, you know, the scriptures say, the Psalms say, behold how good and how pleasant it is. He name atoth. When brothers dwell together in unity, God says, in that place, I'm going to command my blessing. And that's what we're believing for God TV. Because as people like Scott, who's one of the most generous people I've, I've ever met, yes. and, and you're, you're cut from the same cloth. I like being around generous people. You know, some of those watching today, probably everyone today knows the name Robert Morris. Well, his life message that built one of the largest churches in the world, Gateway Church down in Dallas, Texas, mm-hmm. his life message is loving God by giving. I've heard him speak on it several times. And uh, those who have caught this, this is not a manipulation. This is not a begathon. Yeah. You know, we're not begging for anything. I, yes. I can't stand that stuff. God's because children don't beg for money. Yeah, and it carries a certain spirit with it. Yeah. And for those of us that are watching on the other side of the cameras, we, we know what, what's happening. Yes. But when we catch the Word of God and understand that as I catch a vision and hear in my heart and God says, I want you to be a part of this. Why? Because number one, you're opening up a channel for me, for God to invest in your life, impossible to outgive him. Plus you're sowing for your own future. Plus you're worshiping God because as we said in the program last week, as we spoke, that worshiping God is not really a song or the music, but it's a heart attitude that obeys. And at that point of obedience, that's where God says, now I know you're a worshiper. So for those who are watching today, if you want to be a real worshiper, hear the Lord and do what he says. And I believe he wants you to invest with God TV. This is great, great soil. It is great soil. You know, like I said earlier, God set this whole thing up today just by divine setup. And... um, You know, when we think of Asia and Africa, sometimes we think of the mission field and we think of the unreached. But I want want you to know in Asia, in India, in the Philippines, in different places, in Sri Lanka, God is on the move. We can learn a lot. I tell you what, God is pouring out His Spirit. I met a pastor recently um, with 150,000 members in India. And then I spoke to our regional director and I said, Man, we need to go to his church. He says, oh, Lord, every church in India is 100,000 now. You know, so he didn't say it like that. Yeah. Every church in India is 100,000. <laughs> I mean, he's a dear brother, um, Thomas Robinson. I know you met him, Scott, yeah. in Israel. But he'll be with us uh, on this program. And we want to encourage all of you uh, to get involved in Love Asia. Um, I know that um, God's heart is in it. And uh, we wake up every day just thinking, Lord, what can we do to serve you? I remember, Scott, as we go into this uh, break, I asked the Lord when he first got me involved in God TV. He said, Lord, I said, Lord, is this really you? What do you want me to do? Mm. He said, son, you just be faithful and obedient. Faithful and obedient. If you're never, uh, if you're not a partner yet with God TV, we want to invite you to Come and hold our hands and become a media missionary as we take the gospel around the world. Watch this piece and we'll be right back with Paul Wilbur and Scott Folk. For over two decades, God TV has committed to bringing the transforming message of Jesus into homes across the world, providing hope in the most desperate of situations. Physically abused, addicted and alone, Sally saw no way out. I was trying to die. I didn't like anything about me. I didn't know how to live and I was too scared to die. And then one day I was just sitting there, the telly was on. When you accept Jesus Christ into your heart as your Lord and Savior, you are redeemed from the curse of sin and death. For Kaylee, she saw no future for her young life. I decided I wanted to commit suicide. As I sat in darkness, deciding how to do it, a voice spoke to me and it said, why don't you watch God TV? And I knew it wasn't my voice because I didn't really like anything Christian and it scared me so much. I thought, well, maybe I should. 
As I sat in the darkness and listened about who God was, he, he came in the room and I met him. I met my creator. God is reconciling the world to himself in Christ, not counting people's trespasses against them. And he has committed to us the message of reconciliation. Will you join with us in becoming a messenger of the gospel? Partner with God TV and see lives like Sally's and Kaylee's changed to the outer ends of the earth. Go to god.tv slash donate or call the number on your screen today. back with Paul Wilber and Scott Volk. Guys, um, in this next segment, I want to talk about your book. I want to talk about your upcoming program. I want you to pray a blessing over our viewers for the upcoming Asia, fun, uh, Asia fundraiser. So uh, one quick thing before, you mentioned about Scott being generous. Mm -hmm. He said something to me some time ago. He said, I want to be the most generous person in the world or something like that. Mm -hmm. He didn't say it braggadociously. He meant it from his heart and it really touched me. Generosity, just uh, I think it tickles God's heart. Well, it's because the God that we serve is so generous, because God so loved yeah. the world. You know, we, we see that at baseball games behind home plate, but it's still true. <laughs> and where does that, what does love produce? Love produces generosity. You yeah. can't love someone from a distance. It has to be up close and personal. And uh, the, the generosity of God towards us you know, if, if we're going to say that same spirit that raised Jesus from the dead, Romans 8, 11, lives in me, mm -hmm. but we don't act like him, we don't love like him, we don't give like him, what does that say about our confession? Mm -hmm. or is that just something we heard and sounds good on television or, or what? It's, it's, yeah, it's, it's actually quite amazing, too, the doors that generosity opens. Mm -hmm. um, my, I think my exact yes. quote to you was... I, the Lord challenged me to be the most generous person that people know. But I believe that that's not just a challenge for me. I think that's a challenge for everybody. I think mm -hmm. the Lord wants His children to be the most generous people Can you give other a testimony of that church you visited? Um, sure, I'll, I'll give it you to you. You don't have to give names. No, 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 I mean, I sure. think it inspire everyone. It blows me away because it, it blew the roof off of my generosity standard. I was invited to come to a church. The church has about 100 people. And I subsequently found out that this church's annual tithes and offerings equaled $120,000 a year. So it was not an affluent church. So they, they, would, they would get about $10,000 a month. And the pastor told me, he said, Scott, I want you to come. And I want you to preach a message on Israel. And I want our church to receive a miracle offering for Israel. So I said, sure, no problem. <laughs> so I, I, I've heard that before too. <laughs> yeah, it's a miracle. here's your miracle. So I went, I went, I went with my wife. And with my daughter, Olivia, and we went to the church. And if you would look outwardly, it wasn't a church that looked like they were anything. And their annual budget was small. So when he said a miracle offering, I had my miracle in my mind, what it was going to be. <laughs> I, I, I preached. And then on Tuesday night, I ended up going to the pastor's home for a home group meeting where they were going to present me with the check. So I, I gave a simple message in the house. And there were about 50 people there. Warren, I'm telling you. I was blown away. I was sitting there and the pastor looks at me and he goes, when I give you this check, you're going to realize what a miracle it is. So I'm, th I'm sitting there and I'm thinking, miracle, $5,000. That's a miracle. So that would be, a, it would be a miracle. Mm -hmm. Yeah. A, a, a miracle. He handed me the check and I opened the check up and it was $40,000. Water immediately filled my eyes. The people in the room, most of them did not know how much it was. They were standing up and clapping. I think just even as a result of their giving, their faith expanded. And then the pastor looks at me and goes, I want to pray for you. So I stood up and all these people gathered around me and they laid their hands on me. And before they prayed for me, the pastor said, if you were not able to give on Sunday, there's a basket here on the table. And I'm thinking to myself, what are you? kidding me? You're going to try to squeeze some more money out of these people? Yeah. They laid their hands and they prayed for me. And I was a mess. I was crying. My, my hands, my eyes were closed. And I looked down at the end of the prayer and in the basket 
was an envelope that said Israel on it. And the pastor grabs the envelope, takes it into the back room. I'm talking to people. And the pastor said, Scott, you've got to come here. You're not going to believe this. He walks me into his bedroom and spread out on his bed, I'm not exaggerating, were 200 $100 bills, $20,000. I was driving home, Ward, with $60,000. $60,000. And my miracle, I thought, was going to be $5,000. And this is what the Lord spoke to me. Wow. He said, Scott, take the lid off. You, uh, he, he told me, don't, don't restrict me where I haven't restricted myself. And I felt Ward for so long I was living. My expectations of what God was going to do was based on my puny mind. And I said, I felt like God said, take the lid off. You know, there's a scripture that says, no eye has seen, yes. no ear has heard, no mind can conceive what God has prepared for those who love him. Now, I really want to encourage you if you're watching, you know, it might seem like you're expecting God to do something for you. Can I just encourage you? If you can imagine it, it's not big enough, really. If, 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 if we can't imagine what God wants to do, he wants to pour out blessings. And generosity really opens the door. I was, I, I was returning my car to Seattle just a couple of months ago. And I was filling my car up with gas because when you rent a car, you got to fill it up at the end. And here's how I used to live. We didn't know I, that, Paul. <laughs> <laughs> here's how I used to live. Really? Yeah, still yeah, 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 yeah. I'm still in that place. Right, we'll so the way, you too. the way I would fill it up was I would actually calculate 10 miles from the airport. I would just wait until the, it clicked off. Right, and then I would get it to the airport, so it was just barely showing. Confession full. is good for <laughs> so, confessing. So it barely. Well, this day I was literally a mile from the airport, and I was putting the gas in the car. And I know this was God because I don't think this way. I felt like God said, and it clicked, so it was done. Right. I felt like God said, "Top it off." So here I am with a rental car, and I'm going like this. I'm standing there for two minutes. I might have gotten another gallon and a half in it. So it cost me what three, four dollars. But I felt like God wanted to say, let your generosity of overflow in every area. Wow. I returned to the Hertz counter. Um, can I say Hertz on God TV? <laughs> <laughs> I returned the car to a certain rental car place. Uh, and the guy said, did you fill it up? I said, yeah, I filled it up. And he turned the key to check and he said, you didn't just fill it up, you topped it off. Yeah. He said, really? nobody, he said, nobody he tops it off. That. He recognized it. Wow. And you know, when we're generous, it opens doors mm -hmm. to be able to say, this is why I did it. Not in some braggadocious way, but when you live with an attitude of generosity, Amen. you're, mm -hmm. I mean, it's just awesome. For his and it daughter. touches it touches every area. You know, someone may be saying, I can't write a check for $20,000. You can be generous with your praise. Yeah. yeah. How would that transform your marriage, guys, mm -hmm. if you were generous to your wife well. with your words? <laughs> well. How would it transform your relationship with your children yeah. if you were generous, mom and dad, with your time? Instead of sequestering them to a, a game, another movie, another something, while you do what pleases you. How would it transform? You, we can, there are so many areas for us to be, this just lit on me as you were sharing your miracle. But for, how can we be generous? We can be generous with every, anything right. that God has deposited in us, with our prayer, with our praise, with our time, with our energy, with yeah. our finances. Yeah. But there are so many, you know, with our partnership, you say, well, I'm partnering with this one and this one and this one. Well, God may be saying, here's another area where I want you to be generous. And if we'll just have that same generous attitude, that same mind that was in Messiah himself, the, the lid comes off yes. and God. you open yourself to these kinds of miracles. That's awesome. Praise God. Paul, take a minute quickly to talk about your book, A King mm -hmm. is Coming. For the last several years, we have been so um, challenged in, in the way that our culture has been shifted. We, we see it in the churches, we see it in, a, in our Messianic congregations, we see it all over the world, where we have been changed by our culture. We have not been called as believers to be a subculture, wherever we are, whether it's the UK or it's the United States or Barbados or wherever, we're not been called as the body of Messiah 
to be a subculture, but we have been called to be a counterculture. We're to be shifting the culture that we're in. And this is what that book, A King Is Coming, reminds us that we're serving a king who is coming. And wherever in the timeline you feel that is, uh, I believe it's very awesome. soon. And that's what A King Is Coming is all about. Hey man, a king is coming. Well, what we're going to do, we're going to show you this quick promo of our Israel tour because the king is coming back to Jerusalem. Nice. And then Paul and Scott are going to pray over you as this Love Asia fundraiser is coming up. Watch this promo on the Israel tour and we'll be right back. Zion 2018. Book your place today and take advantage of our special discount at AriseZion2018.com. Praise God. That Israel tour is going to be life changing. I know you guys go probably three, four, ten times a year, but we, um, we're really looking forward to that tour. Paul and Scott, thank you so much for being with us. You've been a tremendous blessing to our viewers. And I know that um, what you've said today is, is definitely has, has taken root. And mm. before we go, um, I want you to pray over our viewers. And I want you to know watching at home, we have asked Paul and Scott to, um, to have a regular program on God TV. So they're working on it and um, they'll soon have their own program, the duo of Paul and Scott. So mm. take it away and pray over our viewers. Yeah, there's, there's no greater prayer that I can think of with a promise. Now, there are a lot of prayers in the scriptures, but I want to speak this, sing this actually over you. It comes from the Torah. It comes from the book of Numbers chapter 6. And, and listen to what God said. The Lord said to Moses, tell Aaron and his sons, these are the priests, and we've become the priesthood of God. This is how you're to bless the people. Say to them, I'm going to sing it in Hebrew. Scott's going to declare it over you in English. Now listen, there are two promises, and I want you to receive these as you hear these words that have been directly sent to you by God himself. He says, I will place my name on the people, and I will bless them. So receive the name of the Lord inscribed on your life and the blessing of the Lord. Yivarech Adonai Ve'yishmarech Ya'er Adonai Pane ve'lecha V'chonecha Yisa Adonai Yisa the Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord lift his countenance on you and give you peace. Shalom, in the name of Messiah Yeshua. Amen. 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 Thank you. Thank you, Paul. Thank you, Scott. 
Thank you for watching today. Thank you for being a part of God TV. Thank you for your faithfulness. Thank you for your partnership. And thank you for your love. And please be a part of this Love Asia fundraiser. Until next week, we say shalom, peace. Tell someone about Jesus. God bless you. Thank you for watching Today with Ward. Please join us again next time. In the meantime, we'd love to hear from you. Please email today at God.tv. Also, please consider becoming a God TV partner. For more information, visit God.tv.